Hey everybody, welcome to Brickfall. My name's Jack. Today is another LEGO minifigure collection review video for you guys. This is every single LEGO Mighty Micros minifigure ever made. This collection entails all the Mighty Micros figs released as of the year 2017. In total, there are 24 figs, which basically means uh, there have been 12 different Mighty Micro sets with two individual unique characters per set. I'm gonna be going through these guys chronologically from when they were released, what sets they came out in, and how much they're worth. And let me preface right now, all of these guys are basically between two or three dollars on Bricklink. So there are the prices. And now I just wanna talk about the unique and kind of funny designs, which makes up the Mighty Micros universe. In 2016, we got these minifigs with all of their fun builds to entail. And first, we're looking at Batman, who came out in the set, Batman versus Catwoman. This is a pretty classic version of the character. They opted to go with a gray torso piece with some basic detailing printed on it. But really, the main attraction for these characters are the funny expressions for the faces. Batman's got a little bit of a pouty face. And I like the cleverness of the print design for his goggles. They look like goggles when they're taken off. And sort of the white reflection uh, creates a little bit more of an expression under underneath the cowl when you put the mask on. Catwoman from this set is pretty straightforward. I can appreciate the purple negative space used to show her hips. And once again, the white detailing that shows her goggles looks pretty good even when you take the mask off. That's always an added plus. The next guys came from the Robin versus Bane set. Robin is a very colorful fig. I like that he's got a short cape. It's soft cloth, which I think is one of the first soft cloth short capes to come out on a fig. And he's got a pretty chipper looking expression on his face. I'm also really happy they decided to use Bane as a villain for the Mighty Micros line, just because it's so funny to see this character juxtaposed in a small, small form. There's a little bit of muscle detailing printed onto his torso, and honestly, really awesome details that show the uh, serum going from his torso all the way to the back of his head. His face isn't so silly, but certainly cartoony. And then finishing off the DZ sets for 2016, we got the Flash versus Captain Cold. The Flash is awesome. The print for his torso is, you know, almost exactly what you'd want from a regular comic book version of Flash. He's got the same mold on his head that the regular Flash minifig has. And this time he doesn't have a solid pair of goggles, but two separate big open white eyes and just the smallest of smirks. Captain Cold has quite a bit of printing on the torso, though it's as simple as it gets pretty much. And he has one of the better expressions, I think, from this first wave. The more animated these funny faces look, the better. And I just really like the shape for the really, really big mouth. When we move over to Marvel, the first set we're looking at is Spider-Man versus Green Goblin. Spider-Man's torso print it looks fine. Honestly, it wouldn't come off to me as being too cartoony. And the only thing that really gives him away as a Mighty Micros fig for me is, of course, the funny expression in his eyes. The designers didn't have a mouth to work with, so what they did is they just really accentuated the sort of scowl or confused look in his eyes. I'm not really sure what that indicates, but this print is nice, and you can definitely add this onto uh, any normal-sized Spider-Man to make just sort of a funnier narrative. Green Goblin has has a, a pretty funky face too. You can even see a little bit of fangs. And you can also see that the belt has some printing where it kind of goes into the straps around his uh, purple jumpsuit. The next set also has a pretty good combination of sort of arch nemeses. This is Captain America versus Red Skull. And here Captain America's body is actually really good. I sort of appreciate the fact that they gave him white arms and red hands to really accentuate the red, white, and blue. And the Captain also has a pretty decent print for uh, the grin on his face. Red Skull, on the other hand, has probably my my favorite expression from any of the Mighty Micros so far. He's either disgruntled or angry or confused or a lot of all of those things. And the torso print is also really nice. I, I can appreciate the clean and simple style that these Brickheads characters have. And I think everybody's sort of biggest regret with these uh, figures is that they didn't also come with regular sized leg pieces. The last set up for 2016 is Hulk versus Ultron. Once again, Hulk is awesome in the sense that he's so small when they barely really make minifig versions of the guy and they mostly have big fig versions of Hulk. It's nice to see this character kind of juxtaposed in such a funny little way. This time, uh, the print for his pants has shows a little belt with like an H on the front, which I think is kind of funny. And I'm not sure, but I think he might have the single biggest grin of any fig from the Micro series, but maybe just any mini fig out there. His grin is absolutely gigantic. But then again, when you take a closer look at Ultron, he might actually have an even bigger one. This, I think, was a lot harder for the designers to kind of put together, but they did a pretty good 
good job. It's a little bit hard to kind of see what his face looks like at first, but you can tell with Ultron's face kind of having the larger jaw and the massive mouth that it is just like the most gigantic grin on his face. I can appreciate that he's also put together with a couple of flathead screws. And then let's move to the next year, 2017, where we got another six sets, three for DC and three for Marvel. Once again, let's start with the DC side. This first one was a super fun idea being Superman versus Bizarro or Bizarro Superman. And there we get, of course, we have to have Superman as a Mighty Micros. Nothing too exciting or different about the print for his torso, but I can appreciate they included a little butt chin uh, print for his face. Now, Bizarro is, I think, one of my favorites because you can't get Bizarro Superman unless it's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which is like hundreds of dollars. But the print for the torso is fine. And because it's Bizarro Superman, this kind of wacky expression on his face sort of fits fine with even a regular version of the character. He's a super unique villain that I'm glad got uh, the proper attention if anybody wants to make a full-size version. This next set I wasn't as happy about because, you know, it's a repeat of Batman. This is Batman versus Killer Moth. They decided to make him in the style of sort of uh, 1960s Batman with the blue and gray, which is somewhat of a consolation, but they repeated the exact same print from the original Batman torso, and the only thing they changed was the expression for his face, which actually, to be fair, does also look pretty good. I like that they also made him look like goggles, which means you can use the print without the cowl. This killer moth came out at around the same time another killer moth came out in a set, which is I think the reason why they've reused some of the parts. And though I don't really know him that well as a supervillain, the expression is awesome and the colors are super, super great. The trans red wing pieces in the back looks pretty good as well. And he's actually a pretty decent fig now that I think about it. Next up is Wonder Woman versus Doomsday. The Wonder Woman fig is kind of great. They reused the hair piece that came from the original version and she's got a pretty chipper smile. The printing for the torso is actually just fine. And they also gave her a shield as well as a sword, the shield not being quite as fancy as what you'd get from a Wonder Woman fig from some of the more recent sets. Doomsday, once again, supposed to be a big old bad guy. Looks ridiculous with the uh, ponytail and the beard and sort of the spiked out shoulder armor, but a fun looking villain nonetheless. The best part about this guy is definitely the fact that his club is just a brown carrot piece turned upside down. Remember, everything is micro. Now, I guess Lego can't help but repeat the characters that they know are going to do well. So we got a new Batman. We also got a new Spider-Man. This guy came out in Spider-Man versus Scorpion. Everything's the same about the original, except that he's got a way more squinty eye. It's like he's winking. Personally, I don't like this eye expression as much, but these things definitely come in handy if you want to be doing stop motion with like a Spider-Man fig. You can make him look like he's thinking or doing something kind of funny. But once again, new characters are always welcome. Scorpion is a pretty fun guy. I don't know why they bothered to do so much printing on his back, even though uh, it's totally covered up by this giant scorpion piece, which goes on the regular sized minifig. Even on the normal minifig, this piece is a little bit oversized, so it just kind of looks ridiculous uh, on this little guy. But altogether, I like this combination of green, lime green, and just the yellow stinger at the top. Now, this next set, I think, is most people's personal favorite. It certainly is one of the top ones for me. Iron Man versus Thanos. This is the first time, actually, that we got to see the new mold for Iron Man's helmet. Since then, it came out on other figs afterwards, but this is the first time it actually appeared, which is kind of funny. And the face is awesome. It's an actual expressive Iron Man face mask, which is so cool. They overdid the reactor in his chest, which looks great. And we get a two for one because not only is the Iron Man mask cool, but Tony Stark has probably one of the most ridiculous expressions on his face. They also came with an alternate hairpiece to match. Even in full size, uh, bigger sets, they sometimes don't remember to do this every time with minifigs that should be having hair pieces. Thanos, supposed to be giant. He's super small. I like that they added the sort of oversized uh, gauntlet piece to be sort of the infinity stone gauntlet. That's pretty cool. And the subtle gold detailing on his torso and eyebrows matches up quite well with the armor on his shoulders. Also, this set was pretty well sought after because he got a lot of pieces and a lot of them were kind of hard to get gold ones, which were pretty cool. Last up here is Wolverine versus Magneto, the most overdone <laughs> of the X-Men characters for sure in Lego. But who doesn't like getting a Wolverine minifig? The expression on his face is super good. It's kind of fierce and goofy. They overdid sort of the uh, sideburns to kind of a ridiculous extent. And the detail for his torso actually matches up pretty close to what he looked like from the comic book series. This was an interesting creative choice. They didn't give Magneto uh, his regular face, but instead blacked out the head and just gave him expressive eyes. But ultimately, he still looks pretty good. I can appreciate even through here that they still decided to put printing on his back, even though he's got a cape. And right there, 
here, we actually finished off all of the Mighty Micro sets uh, to date. Now, images for the 2018 sets have been leaked. I'm not gonna show them here, but for characters that I wanna get in the future that also are not going to be included in the next wave, I would say that I want more X-Men characters. I'm gonna always say that. I think they're one of the best aspects of the Marvel Universe. And on the DC side, I wouldn't mind getting maybe a Batgirl with maybe another classic uh, Batman villain like Two-Face, the Riddler, or Penguin. All right, that's it for this video, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any ideas about a new collection video you wanna see us do in the future, let us know in the comments section below. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Ball. Yeah.